comedian Steve Martin has come up with a unique way to get out of jury duty. He's been providing a running commentary on Twitter about the case before him. Not shy to make his opinions heard, the star tweeted, the defendant looks like a murderer, later commenting, the guy I thought was up for the murder turns out to be the defence attorney. So far, his get out of jury duty routine hasn't worked. The famous pedestrian crossing featured on the cover of the Beatles album Abbey Road has been granted heritage listing by the British government. Every year thousands of tourists travel to the site to mimic the, the famous picture. Abbey Road is one of the, the best Beatles albums you can get. Our mum loved the Beatles when we were growing up so we've seen the album a million times and uh, thought we'd come and take a photo to take home for her. It's the first road to be given heritage status. A 60-year age gap is no problem for Playboy founder Hugh Hefner, who's popped the question to his 24-year-old girlfriend. Crystal Harris said yes, with Hefner tweeting, when I gave Crystal the ring, she burst into tears. He was dating identical twins when he started seeing Crystal two years ago. But the 84-year-old now says he's a one-woman man. It will be Hefner's third marriage. Elton John and his partner David Furnish have welcomed their first child. Their son was born via a surrogate in California on Christmas Day. The couple say they're the happy parents of a healthy boy named Zachary. Elton and David married in 2005 after 12 years together. It's a special night for glamour couple Chris Judd and Rebecca Twigley. After seven years together, the football champion and Perth model have tied the knot. Football star couple, now officially husband and wife. All eyes were going to be on the bride. Rebecca arrived only a little late. Her wedding gown, created by Melbourne designers Jeton, inspired by the lines of New York's famous Chrysler building. Mum Kerry, dressed in a purple Jeton creation, helping her eldest daughter. Bridesmaids, including Rebecca's sister Kate, dressed in a silvery mauve, sheer in parts to the thigh. Earlier, there were no pre-match nerves on show for cool captain Chris Judd as he arrived with best man Daniel Kerr. The marriage celebrant, former WA health chief and Eagles chaplain Neil Fong. Former teammates among the 220 guests, including Dean Cox, Andrew Embley, Darren Glass, Michael Braun, and Perth property developer Nigel Satterley and wife Denise. It was at the Brownlows in 2004 when Rebecca wore that dress that they became the AFL glamour couple. They've been together for seven years. Rebecca, a speech therapist, also models for Maya. The A-list couple, always a favourite on the social scene. The pair had an early honeymoon in Italy in October. It's believed they'll now take a short break to Noosa, where Judd proposed last year. The guests will celebrate the marriage at the Carousel in Melbourne's Albert Park, where they'll enjoy the city's fireworks at midnight. Elizabeth Chester, 7 News. The frontman of 70s disco group Boney M, Bobby Farrell, has died on tour in Russia at the age of 61. His band produced a string of hits, including Rasputin, Rivers of Babylon and Daddy Cool. Farrell died on the same date and in the same city, St Petersburg, as the real Rasputin. Unlike Rasputin, Farrell's death is believed to be from natural causes. After seven years, Arnold Schwarzenegger is stepping down as Governor of California. The Hollywood star turned politician is leaving with his popularity at just 22%, unemployment above America's average and a deficit of $28 billion. But the multi-millionaire did forego his governor's salary of $170,000. It's believed he's set to make millions on the speaking circuit. Baywatch came to Sydney's Bondi Beach today with former TV star David Hasselhoff getting back to his life-saving glory days. The 58-year-old arrived on the beach in a rescue boat greeted by models wearing the show's famous red swimsuits. Police kept an eye on the crowd, but Hasselhoff had his own advice for any critics. So my answer to that is, don't hassle the hoff! <laughs> He's in Australia to promote ice cream. And former Miss Universe Jennifer Hawkins has showed off her new engagement ring. She's appeared in New Idea magazine with her fiancé, Jake Wall. He proposed with a $200,000 diamond last month. They haven't set a wedding date, but say they won't wait too long. Jen and Jake have been together for seven years.
British actor Pete Postlethwaite has died after a long battle with cancer. He was 64. Those who worked with him, including Steven Spielberg, say he was one of the best. His face was better known than his name. This is a game trail, Mr. Rodrigo. But after starring in Jurassic Park, Pete Postlethwaite was called the best actor in the world by director Steven Spielberg. He will go down in the lexicon of uh, British film as one of the greatest actors we've produced. They arrested everybody in the house. What? Postlethwaite was nominated for an Oscar for his role in The Name of the Father. Did you do it, son? No, I did not. And also did won acclaim in the cult classic The Usual Suspects. I work for Kaiser Soze. He slipped easily from playing a brass band leader to a gang leader in the recently released The Town. He was lovable. People liked him. Even when he was playing bad people, people liked him. Postlethwaite was diagnosed with testicular cancer 20 years ago. He continued to work right until the end. I mean, you could put a costume on anybody and make them look something, but it's what actually is behind that costume that's important. Pete Postlethwaite was 64. In Hollywood, Mike Amore, 7 News. ABBA fans could finally see their wildest dreams come true. Former member Agnetha Feltskuk has told a Swedish newspaper she'd consider performing one last time for charity. A renowned recluse, Agnetha's been the main obstacle to a reunion. She made a rare appearance with her former bandmate at a Mamma Mia premiere two years ago. If the reunion happens, it would be ABBA's first performance in almost 30 years. Seven News, The Pulse of Perth.